broadcasting live now on Twitter, on Facebook, and YouTube. That's right. So if you'd like more free information or you'd like to see many of the recorded broadcasts I've done, then just go to septictank.co.com. UK and there it is there's my shop and my site where you can get more information now today we're going to look at percolation tests how to do a percolation test okay so that's what we're looking at today and the information that we're looking at is based on the guidance given by UK building regs so here we go so let me show you this right so we're going to look at the percolation test method. All right, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I'm going to show you, right, how to do a percolation test, okay? So I'm going to move this screen along to here, all right? And um, I am now going to get this up. ba -da! All right, so here we go. Let's rock and roll, okay? So let's say, all right, you've got your house. And you've got your pipe okay so you've got your piping so you've got your levels so you've got your piping and you've got your septic tank in the hole in the ground now you need to work out whether the ground is suitable for your soak away so it, this percolation de test will determine the size of your soak away and the types of soak away products that you can use okay so so just starting first of all all right so just starting first of all, so we're just looking here. All right, so let me just get the screen up here. So I'm going to read this to you live. That's right, live <laughs> off the building regs. All right, so now here's your septic tank. Now it shows there, it says that a hole 300 millimeters square should be excavated to a depth 300 mil below below the proposed invert depth all right so here is the outlet so let's put the outlet of the tank on all right so here we go da, 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 da. there you go there's the outlet pipe so building reg states that 300 mil below the proposed invert depth right of the distribution pipe you need to dig a hole so let's dig this hole for you there we go there's the hole look at that so it's a it's a standard hole okay it's a standard hole that building reg states should be right 300 by 300 all right so it says well in fact if i read it to you right if i read it to you right the hole should be 300 millimeters square and excavated to a depth of 300 mil below the proposed invert level. So there you go. So that is our 300 mil by 300 mil squared hole, which is 300 mil below the proposed invert level depth there. All right. So what do we do now? Well, it says building rig states we've now got to fill the hole up here so let me just fill this hole up with some water i've got some water here somewhere but um okay so there we go we filled the hole with water all right so there you go that's what it looks like so there is the hole full of water well not full of water but it says fill the 300 millimeter square section of the hole to a depth of at least 300 mil with water and then we allow it to seep away overnight all right so there it is it's seeped away overnight all right so now the hole is nice and empty again all right so what now well it says next day refill the test section with water again all right so we put another 300 mil of water back into the hole so there we go we filled the hole up with 300 mil of water now this is where it gets really really interesting okay because it says that you've got to let it drain away to about 75 25 percent of it wait until that drains away disperses okay so you've got about 75 percent left of the water and this is where you start to get your watch your stopwatch ready okay
Now, it says, observe the time in seconds for the water to seep away, okay, from 75% to, and get this, 25%. All right, so the amount of time that it takes to seep away from 75% to 25%, which equals about, is it approximately about 150 millimeters? Once you've done that, make a note of the time. Okay. Now, before I go on to how to work the calculation out, it said the test should be carried out at least three times with at least two trial holes. So here's another trial hole that I've dug away from the tank. There you go. And again, in this instance, I'm going to fill both holes up with 300 ml of water. Don't forget, we've already put the water in the night before it's seeped away. So we've now come the next morning, we filled the trial holes up with water, 300 ml full. Then we wait until the water dissipates or soaks away, seeps away to about 75% of its original volume, its height. Then we get our stopwatch and we go right, then we click start, and then we time it from 75% to 25% okay which equates to about 150 mil all right of seepage there now when we've done that all right let's get back to our original hole there. now obviously the other 25 percent is also going to drain away too but just keeping it simple here just keeping it nice and simple right and i'll read this to you right so once you've got the time or the mean average for for over you've done each hole three times Okay, each of the two holes, you can do three holes if you want, but I normally do about two holes. It says divide this time by 150, and this gives the average time in seconds. It's a V, it's a V with a little P by it, required for the water to drop one millimeter. And it carries on, building reg states here, if I read this to you, it states that the the test uh, no sorry 1.38 drainage field disposal should only be used when percolation tests indicate average values of v of the p of between 12 and 100 and the preliminary site assessment report and trial hole tests have been favorable okay this minimum value ensures that untreated effluent cannot percolate too rapidly into groundwater where v P is outside these limits, effective treatment is unlikely to take place in a drainage field. However, provided an alternative form of secondary treatment is provided to treat the effluent from the septic tanks, it may still be possible to discharge the treated effluent to a soak away. So there you go. So that is a real basic overview of how to do a percolation test to test the suitability of the soil conditions where you propose to put your soak away so i hope that's helped i'm going to post this on um, my sites in a bit it'll be available on facebook and youtube and twitter but basically dig a hole 300 by 300 by 300 fill it with 300 ml of water let it seep away overnight then the next day, once it once it's seeped away, fill it again to 300 mil. Wait until 25% of it has seeped away, so you've got 75% left. And start your stopwatch and time it from 75% of its height to 25% of its height, which equates to about 150 mil. Once you've got the time there, you basically can work out the time that the water takes to seep away. And then you can test to see whether your ground is suitable for a soak away or what kind of soak away or the size of the soak away or whether you need a secondary form of treatment or not. So there you go. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch my um, live broadcast today. If you want any additional information, then just visit septictank.co.uk where you'll find lots more um, free advice and information. So thank you very much for watching this live broadcast day. I'm going to do another one later, but um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak to you soon.